welcome back. You're with me, Jessica, on The Roundabout. Here's your update with all the things you need to know of what's happening around Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed has just announced a new government vision of the future on his Twitter page following a meeting with 1,000 government officials. This new project, called the M Government, follows the E Government initiative, which allowed most government services to be available online. Sheikh Mohammed tweeted that the government of the future works 24-7, 365 days a year, and has hopes of reaching the people instead of the people reaching the government. After two years, if government officials have failed to deliver online and mobile services, they would be given a farewell ceremony. Now, this vision truly upholds the ideal of the government of the future, not to mention the convenience for us. Want to help your friend out by sending them some extra credit? <laughs> It'll cost you. The credit transfer facility is no longer free. Etisalat is now charging customers 5% of the transfer amount as a transaction fee. So now, 150 dirhams per day is the maximum amount you'll be able to transfer with a maximum of 1,500 per month. However, a good perk Etisalat has recently brought out is the International Airtime Credit Transfer, which means you can send your credit to any Wassel and Ahlam prepaid customers globally. The Ministry of Works is opening a new kind of hospital here in Dubai, which will offer comprehensive psychiatric care. The Al Amal Psychiatric Hospital project will cost around 500 million dirhams, spanning about 54,000 square meters with a capacity of 272 wards. This hospital will be the first of its kind in the region and it aims to provide a peaceful and serene environment to its clients while desensitizing the stigma which is often felt with mental health discussions here. Not quite in shape at the beginning of this bikini season? No worries! 100 changing rooms have just been installed on all public beaches in Dubai from Jumeirah 1 to JBR. The changing rooms, called Beach Chameleons, come in women and men's sections and aim to give beachgoers more privacy and will be cleaned by staff up to 20 times a day. And the best part of the facility is, it's completely free for the public. Clean, private, convenient. What more could we ask from the beaches in Dubai? Looking to stay somewhere a little out of this world on your next holiday? Then look no further than Doha, Abu Dhabi or Dubai as the region's first space hotels could be built. Mobilona Space Hotels have designed a hotel which allows guests to travel to distant galaxies while actually staying here on Earth. How you ask? <laughs> well, plans are to build a zero gravity spa, a vertical wind tunnel and transparent glass display windows which can be turned on during stimulated flights and turned off again when guests want to return from their so-called space flight. How's that for staying on cloud nine? And that's all we have for you this week on this episode of The Roundabout. But don't forget to like us, share this video, subscribe and follow us on Twitter at The Roundabout 2. Here's your weather for the week. Have a lovely weekend.